Hey everybody, today I want to talk about two products from iRobot, the Roomba S9 Plus, the robotic vacuum and the robotic floor mopper, the BravaJet M6. These are the two latest devices from iRobot. Now let's start with the S9 Plus. So we'll put the BravaJet aside and let's see what comes in the box to see what you get. So in the box, you obviously get the vacuum itself. This is the Roomba. It's got a new design to it, the D-shaped design. We'll get to that in a minute. You've got a couple of filters, a filter for the unit itself, the filter bag for the base unit, the vacuum base here, and you've got the charge cord, and we've got an extra brush that goes on the Roomba. Let's talk about the unit. The D-shaped design. Now I've used some of the previous units and one of my biggest pet peeves was the fact that it wouldn't get right into the corners. Now they've made some great advancements in the design of this thing. So on the unit itself, you've got the clean button that activates it, but it can happen in many of the other ways as well. We'll get to that also. You've got the home button. So anywhere that it is, you hit the home button, it'll find the base and go back to it. And then you've got this bullseye here, which is the spot clean button. So if there's an area that needs a little bit of extra cleaning, you hit that, it will map that area and give that area some extra cleaning. Lots of sensors around. And this D-shaped design, let's talk about what it does. Now, the D-shaped design allows for a wider body up front. They've moved the brushes up front, which allows for wider brush rollers. These rollers are wider, they cover more surface area, and then you've got an advanced uh, or an improved port here that connects to the base. That's for vacuuming all the debris out into the base. And then you've got this brush in the corner. That's changed as well. The design has changed. Not only that, it spins at a lower RPM. So now it doesn't distribute that debris all over. It actually sweeps it nice and gently in front of the robot so it can vacuum as it passes over iRobot has also redesigned and upgraded the filtration system in both the unit itself and the clean base. So you've got a new filter housing and new filter system, also a new filter system in the clean base. What's more important, like I said, in the clean base, you've got a different setup where the robot comes in. This connection here to the robot has been improved so that you don't get any uh, leakage of debris into the air. So it vacuums it all into the clean base through this new filtration system. It uh, filters out almost 99% of all those fine particles that this thing captures. Now let's talk about that clean base. That clean base is a game changer. It changes everything about this robot. The fact that this robot can now work its way back to the clean base to empty itself when it's full, not only that, but also to recharge its batteries. So it essentially becomes an element that you do not need to interact with beyond the initial control of what you want it to do. Now let's talk about what you want to ask it to do and how you do that. The app that iRobot has is brilliant. When you start it up, the robot goes around and as it makes its way around the room, the sensors which scan ahead of it about 25 times per second start to recognize all the elements within a space. Now, this is where some of the technology comes into play. The robot comes with iADAPT3 navigation with vSLAM technology. What does that mean? Well, it scans the surrounding area and it starts to differentiate between the objects in that space to map the entire space. It then sends that map to the app, gives you a layout of what it finds. So it starts to define the rooms. And I can say it's pretty darn accurate. You can then adjust the spaces. You can isolate the spaces, name them. So now the iRobot knows what room is what. Your kitchen is your kitchen, your living room is your living room. You can also identify zones that you don't want it to go into. So if you have a dog or a cat and the dishes are out there and you don't want it hitting the dishes, you can actually isolate that area and say keep away and it'll work around those spaces. Now all this comes into play on the next level because you've got connectivity now to your home assistant, whether it's Google or Alexa. You can then ask one of those two and simply say, Alexa, have iRobot clean the kitchen. Sorry if I activated anybody's Alexa, but it's that simple. It will identify the space, go and clean it, go back to the base and you're done. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Now the S9 Plus has a ton of suction. It's got an improved motor. So you get literally 40 times the suction of the previous models. It makes it one of the strongest vacuums 
on the market. Now it's got three power settings and you can set those power settings individually from high to uh, medium to low, but it's also got an auto setting, which will sense the flooring underneath and it'll adapt. So if it goes onto carpet, it'll adapt to that setting and kick it into high power. Now as it cleans and it fills up, like I said, it heads back to the base. What's beautiful is that the base can handle up to 30 discharges from the iRobot S9 Plus. So that means it can run for literally a month and dump dirt into this thing without you having to even touch it. Another thing I like about the S9 Plus is the imprint link feature. Now, what does that mean? It's a feature that connects this iRobot component to other iRobot units like the Brava Jet. Now, why is that important? Well, all the mapping that this does is transferred into the Brava Jet also what happens here, that information translates over the Bravo Jet so that when this S9 Plus is finished vacuuming all the rooms, it can then inform the Bravo Jet that it is done. It's now the Bravo Jet's turn to go around and start mopping, which brings us onto that unit. So let's talk about the Bravo Jet. This is the auto floor mopping robot, the M6, the Bravo Jet M6 from iRobot. So let's see what comes in the box here. In the box comes our cleaning robot, the base, charging cord, some cleaning pads, and also some cleaning solution. So let's talk about the M6 mopping robot. Quite compact, three and a half inches tall. It'll get on the, under all the furniture that you need. And it's very compact, like I said, but this thing is very effective. Comes with all the same navigational features as the S9 Plus because it shares that software through that link. So it will also know what areas to hit and mark based on your direction and what areas to avoid based on zones that you have isolated and eliminated. It's got the same scanning technology as the S9 and it's got the same buttons on top so we can see up here that you've got your clean button, your spot clean button and your home button and then up top you've got your compartment where you fill in your liquid and you can use warm water or for better cleaning you can use the Brava Jet liquid that comes with it. Now in the kit, you get a few pads. You get some uh, dry mopping pads and single use wet mopping pads, but you can also buy additional accessories. So you can use uh, these reusable wet mopping pads that you can wash and reuse, and you can get reusable and disposable dry mopping pads. So lots of accessories that you can use. What's important to note is that the M6 will recognize what pad you put on it, and it will adjust its programming appropriate to that pad that you put on. So if you put a dry mopping pad on, it will not spray liquid. It will also navigate the space and scan ahead as much as the S9 Plus, and it will recognize areas that need additional cleaning. So if you're using a wet mopping pad, it will spray additional water to clean those areas a little bit further to get some good results for you. It is brilliant. It works wonderfully. The results are excellent, especially when working in tandem with the S9 Plus. Um, I want to talk about these bases, whether it's the clean base uh, on the S9 Plus or whether it's the base on this Brava Jet. One thing to keep in mind, if you're actually going through renovations or you're building a house, it's a great time to accommodate uh, a location for these things to sit. Often we have to put them in a room, so it'll be in the room up against the baseboard and the plug will not necessarily be where you want it to be. So take advantage of that opportunity if you're renovating to create an alcove or maybe a space where the plug is right behind it and it tucks in nicely so it's inconspicuous and it makes it even better than what it originally would be with it just sitting in the room. So in summary, the Roomba S9 Plus, an excellent robotic vacuum, rivals a lot of the uprights that I've seen, uh, the performance on it is fantastic, especially with the new D-shaped design with those brushes being 30% wider. Um, they're wide, they're effective, they're easy to clean. You've got the improved filter system, the housing that we said, easy to change, and the fact that it will discharge into the clean base 30 times per bag, that is brilliant. The app controls these two and it is a game changer because that mapping technology makes it so easy to use. Now, the fact that they share that information and the link between the two so that the Brava Jet can pick up where the S9 Plus left off is brilliant as well. So the simplicity of the use of the Brava Jet, I was always a little bit concerned about how it would dispense water, how much water, would it damage the floors, and how much maintenance does this thing actually need, and it doesn't. 
Um, the amount of technology in this so that it actually scans ahead, knows what it needs to clean, dispenses the right amount of uh, detergent, and then cleans it up. These pads are easy to install, and the fact that they're reusable, some of them that you can buy are reusable, makes it a very efficient and cost-effective cleaning robot. Like I said, in summary, I'm impressed in both. If you can accommodate this and integrate it into the design of the space so they're not conspicuous, so they just sit in the background and clean up as you leave when you need it, they are a brilliant addition to any house. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you list them down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up on all my latest videos.